What's up guys, Jay? Morning after kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And it's that time again. <laughs> it's that time of night where I sit here and I wonder why my ass decided to stay up all night long waiting for Banshee instead of taking a three or four hour nap. I, I feel like with the anticipation of holding on to this DIS 47 package for the last, what's it been like, two, three months now? Three hours doesn't really seem that long of a time, considering. <laughs> Sadly, Banshee, that blue bastard, decided to dress up as the other blue bastard in the tower, Rahu, for the Festival of the Lost. And true to Rahu form, Banshee decided to lean more with the tricks rather than the treats when it comes to the Suros DIS 47 for another week. But you know what? Even though I, I refuse to delete my DIS 47 package a bit too deep already, I, I can take my frustration out on this week's DIS 43 package since he's already brought a full auto near max stability roll a few weeks back. There's no reason to hold on to this package again. So you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna start off this week by dismantling a DIS 43 and god damn! Does that feel good to dismantle a Suros scout rifle after the last few months of Banshee's blue ball teasing? <laughs> but that brings us to our next package the Omelon Decent FR4 Fusion Rifle, which, believe it or not, is the same archetype as the Saladin's Vigil Fusion Rifle, which is absolutely capable of mapping the ever living dog shit out of you in the current Crucible meta right now. Plus, it has a slightly faster recharge rate than Saladin's Fusion Rifle. The rank 1 version comes with hot swap, quick draw, and range finder for a ridiculously good roll for a fusion rifle that already has amazing base impact and stability, and it also has the torch ballistics increase in aim assist even more. Go ahead and take the rank 1 version of the Thesan FR4. And here we have a weapon that I haven't been excited for since the start of year two Taken King when the Irene Sniper was capable of one shot body shot in the Crucible with Luck in the Chamber. But since the nerf to Luck in the Chamber, it's been overshadowed by the more stable Vanguard and Crucible snipers of the same archetype, but not no more. With the rank 1 version of the Irene rocking triple tap and casket mega. I, I know, I know a lot of you guys are going to be tempted to take snapshot over casket mag, but think about this. If you hit three shots in a row with triple tap, you'll be left with two extra bullets in your magazine. But the extra bullet that casket mag gives you on top of that now puts two bullets in your magazine before triple tap even procs giving you a third bullet allowing you to proc triple tap again giving you a total possible of seven bullets in the magazine without reloading and against bosses like Vosik or Axis with huge easy to hit crit spots definitely Take the rank 1 DPS monster for show! And that brings us to the Hake Heard ya! <laughs> and it, it's funny, because I was holding on to one of these packages for a full auto max stability version for fucking ever. And then Bungie went ahead and just slapped it on the hard mode raid pulse rifle with a big old ribbon and said, There you go. <laughs> I ain't even mad about that. But I, I realize that not everyone out there has the capability of making it through the hard mode raid. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this week's Heard Ya until we see a comparable role to the raid post rifle. Similar to what I did in year two with the Arminius' bootleg doctrine role for you guys. So if you have this package and you're in that boat, you're not able to kill Axis on hard mode. I got you, bruh. Got you. <laughs> the next up is the Heard 
Lucha's big sister, the Lion Mila D. High impact post rifle coming in with a truly nasty rank two roll with glass half full spray and play and a choice of either high caliber rounds or hand laid stock for a massive stability boost. This, this roll speaks for itself. There's no need to even mention why it's good. It has a damage boost and perk, a reload boost and perk, and a stability perk. That's pretty much the holy trinity of any weapon in Destiny. And finally, we have the JLB Rocket Launcher yet again with a large assortment of perks that are better off left in the trash can than on a rocket launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this rocket until next week and see if we can't get a decent high velocity roll for you guys out there that are playing catch up to the year one and year two players. So my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on a bitch, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking bitches. But let me know in the comment section down below which packages did you have this week? Which rolls did you pick? Are, are you holding out for a hurt ya? Or did you cash in on that nasty Irene DPS machine? Tell me in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.